Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and thank you so much for tuning on to the Life Signatures Podcast. It's a daily show. We are going strong on episode number 1582, I believe, and uh, we're continuing to talk about uh, street smartness. We've been discussing this series. In this series, we've been discussing, it's now four or five episodes in, we've been discussing the idea of being street smart or being book smart. And I've been answering, of course, at some point in time, I said I'd rather be street smart than book smart. And I made a definition of what those two mean. And I started giving us reasons as to why street smartness is pre, is, is, um, is uh, preferred more than book smartness. And today we're going to bring that part, that bit, to a conclusion before we can start going deeper into this street smartness business tomorrow. So today, stay tuned and uh, let's learn. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Even as we continue and we're coming to a close of this small mini-series, we're answering the question, why street smart? Why street smart? Why not book smart? Okay, I made those comparisons about four episodes back, five episodes back. You can go back there and you can just learn. And we leaned into the idea of street smartness more than book smartness. And the first thing that I said is it takes less time to be book smart. Sorry, it takes less time to be street smart than to be book smart. It takes at least two decades and even much more to be book smart. Because you've got to do the examinations, you've got to be certified, you've got to be conferred on, you've got to be officially called a particular name or given a particular qualification. It takes less time to be a street smart person. Why? Because it's determined by your hunger. It's determined by the potential that you're going to deploy. That's the first thing about street smartness. If I am to gauge how fast you can become street smart, if I can put a number, I will say three years. If you decide that you want to be the best public speaker this world has ever seen, three years of daily dedication, you are a star in that area. I kid you not. Just about any area, three years, you are a star. The second reason as to why I I lean on to street smartness more than book smartness is that it cuts across. If you are a street smart person, that attitude of street smartness can be used in just about any environment that you find yourself in. I'm not talking about, oh, you you can do all things. No, that's that's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying you can do much, many things, very many things in different environments. You can do probably the same thing in different environments. That's, That's what I mean. When you are street smart, it cuts across because the attitude is there. And if you lack anything, the only thing that, you know, book smartness attitude teaches you, I mean, street smartness attitude teaches you, is to learn. Just go and acquire the necessary skills and you're good to go. That's the second thing about street smartness. It cuts across. And also, we need to notice that it's not a, a reserve, a preserve of just uh, uh, quote-unquote hustlers. A doctor can be street smart and a doctor can also be book smart, but they are not street smart. We know those. 
Okay. A lawyer can be book smart and not street smart. We know those. The third thing, it does it, it cultivates potential. The only thing that is the raw material for street smartness is potential. This is the only place, or this is one of the places where potential is deployed the most as compared to book smartness. Book smartness doesn't care about your potential. You've got to regurgitate what is in the book. Street smartness, it cares about producing. And that's why your potential comes into fruition. The fourth thing that I want to talk about, and even as we close this, is that street, street smartness pertains to all. Not everyone can be book smart. It's a very powerful point. Not everyone can be book smart, but everyone can be street smart. Just pause there for a minute. Is it true? Of course it is true. Not everybody can be book smart. Why? Because we are all different. Not all of us are academically inclined. Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, LeBron James, and I know all those guys, even I had Shaquille O'Neal, at some point in time he went and got an MBA so that he can be able to run his business, so that he can be street smart. See now, the reason for being book smart is to be street smart. That's the, that's the thing. The problem with us is that we are using book smartness as the end of it all, as the apex of the echelons of achievement to be book smart. No. It is to use that book smartness to be street smart because street, street smartness is about you solving problems, you having an impact in this society. So everyone can be street smart but not everyone can be book smart and i do believe that each human being was fitted well enough to be street smart primarily that's my belief not to be book smart but everyone was fitted primarily to be street smart and that talks of survival it talks of purpose it talks of productivity and there is no human that doesn't have a code of survival under a code of purpose inside of them even a code of resilience inside of them code is c-o-d-e each and every single one of us we have a semblance of those three things and there is no human that doesn't have purpose for which they were born purpose is seldom taught in the book smart arena it's seldom found in the book smartness it is always going to be found in the street smart arena when it comes to being book smart, it is a selective prospect. It is not a universal prospect. It is only, by the way, in any population, there will always be a few that will end up being book smart. I mean, the, a smaller percentage, a few of them. This is because of different reasons. And first and obviously, not everyone is academically intelligent. Not everyone can can do that we can debate this until whatever happens but street smartness cuts across i am not saying that we should throw away book smartness it is needed but i do believe even as we increasing into these episodes i do believe that book smartness is supposed to serve street smartness case in point shaquille o'neal going to get an nba so that ostensibly he can run his businesses Not every country has enough resources to cater for everyone who is book, book smart. When I talk about resources, I'm talking about jobs. That goes without saying. And there is not enough schools and not enough schooling materials in countries so that everyone can be helped who has the capacity to be book smart to excel. And finally, not all individuals with this capacity to be book smart will actually end up being book smart anyway. Those who fail for this reason or not, most of them will do so because they lack the resources they need to become book smart. 
not because they are foolish. It is because of this that I do believe that we need to focus and redouble our efforts in making people to be more street smart than they are book smart. This is my firm belief. If you can find a system where these things are balanced, and if you can find a system where the book smartness is used to serve, in fact, the book smartness is just a conduit through which someone can become street smart, then we've arrived. But if we are stuck with the system or a mentality or a thought process or a philosophy that book smartness is the apex of achievement, we have failed because you and I know it's not working. So those are the four reasons as to why I've selected to be street smart than to be book smart. And uh, now, what I want us to start doing going forward is to start talking about how we can raise a street smart child. Eight pillars in raising street smart children. We'll start that tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.